Okay, so A, I've been considering putting some product reviews on the channel just because people contact me every now and then want to know about the stuff I use. B, I love beer. In particular, Pabst Blue Ribbon. And C, I love coffee. Where am I going with this? Come on. Okay, first things first, I gotta apologize. That intro actually has nothing to do with the product that I'm gonna review today. That's for the sole reason that I wasn't expecting to run across this product anytime in the near future. It's from Pat's Blue Ribbon, who by the way, is not sponsoring this video, and it's their hard coffee. Boom! So, story goes, a few weeks ago I saw this stuff online. The uh, PBR, their Instagram account, they started posting pictures of it. So I immediately was on the lookout for it. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge fanatic of PBR beer. I have my reasons. Sentimental, nostalgic, whatever you want to call it. My grandfather, who I was pretty close to, that was his favorite beer. I kind of gravitated towards it as I grew older. And anybody that runs around with me now, especially in the summertime, I've usually got a cold PBR in my hand. I, kept, I was on the lookout, I kind of gave up. They only put it out in a handful of states. Along with, they do have a whiskey that they're doing, and I'm gonna be happy to do a review on that when I get my mitts on a bottle of that stuff. So back to how I got this. I'm on Instagram, I see a liquor store that's right around the corner from my house. They're actually advertising that they got their hands on it. So I acquire a four pack of this stuff. They sell it in a four pack, it's 10 bucks. Okay, now I get it, it's only a 10 spot, right? Not a lot of money, but you gotta keep in mind, I can go get a six pack of Tall Boys of PBR for like six bucks. Also, these are 11 ounce cans. So I'm like, mm. in the PBR realm, it's a little pricey, but we'll see how it goes. I get it home, throw it in the freezer, get it cold really fast. I don't know why, I have no clue why, but I was expecting it to be carbonated for some reason. So the moment I crack it open and it hits my mouth, I was a little surprised. In a good way though. The people in the liquor store are saying that it tastes a whole lot like you. I didn't really get that from it. It's got a little bit of a coffee flavor to it, and on the back end you're gonna get some vanilla. Kind of, mm, a little bit of a vanilla latte spin about it. I just got a video from somebody in Virginia who, after listening to the podcast, The Titty and Shiner Show, went out and got their hands on this stuff, and they had a good point. I would not drink this stuff warm. It needs to be super cold to drink it. And I don't think I would sit around, I mean, I actually, it's a little rich. Like, I couldn't sit and just drink a four pack of it. One or two in the evening, you bet. I don't really think it's gonna replace the original PBR when I'm out mowing the yard. Not gonna happen. But I've recently found a love for cold brew coffee. I know, I know, really, I'm not a hipster. And this is kind of in line with that stuff. So in the evening, in the afternoon, yeah, it kind of, kind of quenches that craving that you may have. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, on a scale of five stars, five being the highest, I'd give this a four. It's gonna be a solid four. I'd go ahead and give it a five. If PBR, you would have put that one more ounce in each and every can. What can I say? All right, guys, this is the first installment of what we're gonna call Shiner Says. 
I'm gonna review some products, I'm gonna review some of the equipment I use, some EDC stuff, technology stuff, photography, videography stuff. We're gonna keep doing that. I'm probably gonna throw in some whiskey and uh, beer reviews in this deal. You guys know I love to cook food, so we're probably gonna cross over between here. I'm gonna start a culinary chaos series eventually, but we're definitely gonna keep reviewing this stuff. But you guys know what I think. Like my opinion matters. It really doesn't mean two shits. All right, you guys get out there, leave your mark on the world. All right, Shiner. Out.